If you've ever played Fly Simulator in an airliner, you've probably heard the classic callouts, such as Seem Great, Pull Up. Stay to the end, because I'm going to show you these seven types and modes of GPWS. Captain Bob, Captain Bob, he's my best friend and he should be yours too. GPWS stands for Ground Proximity Warning System. It is a system that alerts pilots when they are in the immediate danger of an obstacle or ground. Hence the name Ground Proximity Warning System. The FAA defines this as a type of terrain awareness warning system, a TUAS. People introduced this system because in the 1960s everyone was crashing into terrain, which is controlled flight into terrain, and that was pretty deathly, so yeah, no one likes that, so we came up with the ground proximity warning system. There are seven modes of the Ground Proximity Warning System. The first mode, and the one you'll probably encounter the most, is Syncrate. Pull up! That, that old guy. This is because of an excessive descent, and it usually happens whenever you're near the ground, so like, at a landing. If the problem is not corrected, it'll say, Pull up! So if you're like, me then it'll probably just say, Syncrate. But if you're like, ah! it'll probably say, Syncrate. Pull up. Syncrate. Pull up. Syncrate. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Mode 2 is, if you're flying into a mountain, it is the excessive closure rate. So if there's a mountain right here, and your airplane is right here, there's going to be an excessive closeout, closure rate, even though there's no altitude change. So they couldn't really initiate the sink rate, because you're not actually sinking... yet. Terrain. Pull up. Pull up. Number three is altitude loss right after a high power setting. Usually takeoff, but you know, sometimes stall and fail. This helps pilots maintain a high rate of climb right after takeoff, because if you take off and then go back down, that is a step backwards. This will give you a very nice don't sink warning if your altitude dis continues to descend right after high power setting. Don't sink. 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 Mode 4 is unsafe terrain clearance. So if you're coming in for a landing, there are three subcategories. There is too low terrain, which sounds like too low train. There is also too low gear. There's also too low flap. If your descent isn't going to quite make it there, they'll give you a too low terrain. Warning. So if you're like coming in golden landing, they'll probably give you one of those. Too low to rain. Pull up. Too low to rain. Pull up. There's also too low gear, so if you're at a usually lower power setting, if you're coming in for landing, and you'll come down, come down, come down, then they'll be like, shoot, dude, you need your gear. Yeah, tend to need those. 
Unless you're Soli, then. He's too cool for that. Too low. The next one is too low flaps. If you're coming down, usually you want your flaps to give you drag and lift, you know, all the flap characteristics. Too low flaps. Too low flaps. Pull up. Pull up. Too low flaps. Too low flaps and too low gear happen when you are improperly configured for landing. And too low terrain happens if there is inadequate clearance for descent. If you hate them yelling at you for flaps because you do not like to use flaps because it wastes all the trees that went into like making the flaps go down, you can press the GPWS flaps inhibit button and that will make sure that it doesn't yell at you for not having flaps when you don't want there to be flaps. You can do the same with the GPWS gear inhibit button but that's only used if you're our Captain Slumberger. Mode 5 is a deviation from the glide slope. So if your glide slope is right here and you're landing right here we have a problem. The airplane will issue a glide slope warning. This happens when the airplane is below a safe level for landing. So, you know, trees aren't good in airplanes because trees are pointy and could pop the airplane. Mode 6 is an excessive bank angle. I know you can flip a 737, I've done it in flight simulator. I've actually done a few barrel rolls, those are impressive. Uh, but, usually, the old grandma on the back, is, you know, that's very aid of flying, doesn't like that too much. So, when it comes over 30, it'll issue a bank angle warning. That's how you know you're doing it wrong. Bank angle, bank angle, bank angle, bank angle, bank angle. Mode 7 is wind shear. Wind shear is a little bit tricky. It's kind of a weather phenomenon that happens and there's like, ah, all this wind. And I'll, sh I'll just link a video right there maybe. If it doesn't pop up, sorry. Don't say wind shear. Don't say it. Oh, Harry! That's bad! <laughs> oh, no! Did you make my engine go out? That stinks! Of course, in any list with Captain Bob from 1, to seven, I gotta include a zero, cause that's the way I am. Number zero is no warning. The primary cause of sea fit landings is landing short of the runway, smashing into grandma's house. Not nice. Whenever the gear is down and the flaps are deployed, the airplane thinks you're gonna land. So do it. I have my choice of two runways here. But I don't want to take either of them. I'm gonna land short. That was a very nice landing. Great job. This must be the refueler. The TCF terrain clearance floor function provides GPWS with protection even when it's in its good old landing configuration.
A lot of systems go into the GPWS, such as radio altimeter, airspeed, barometer altitude, aircraft configuration, and ILS glide slope deviation. If you would like to learn more, I have a video on taxiway signs, and I also have a bunch of videos that are pretty cool about flight simulators. So, check those out, and I'll see you next time.